What is up everyone? It's been a while since I've done any videos. It's a beautiful spring day for April 2nd. So much sun, I'm not used to this. But take a look at that beautiful green color. This is the backyard. I didn't do anything to it last year, hardly at all. But it's still looking pretty decent. Anyway, to get right to the point, today's video is going to be about application rates. Specifically, this time of year, you put prodiamine as a pre-emergent on your lawn to prevent weeds. So I'm going to be going over some application rates for tenacity as well as prodiamine. So we're going to get kind of heavy into the math. So stick around if you want to see how to do this. I've had a lot of people asking about this. Okay, I'll try to make this as quick as possible so I don't bore everybody to death. Starting with the product specs sheet. You can download this from domyown.com. If you're using Prodiamine, you can just search for that on their website and you can pull up the PDF of everything that is relevant to that product. So this is a pretty big PDF that I printed off, but it's got all the information that you need relevant to Prodiamine applications. It's got the SDS and everything like that if you're interested. So getting to the good stuff. It has a map of rough timelines when you should be applying this. So if you just take a look at where you live here on the US map, pick out what zone you're in and it'll tell you, give you giving you rough dates of when you should be applying this. Now, this is going to vary a little bit based on what type of grass you have because the application rates and the annual maximums are going to be different. So since I have Kentucky bluegrass, I'm going to use that as an example. We've got Kentucky bluegrass can handle a maximum of 1.5 pounds of product per acre. Now, I do split applications because I like to do four month intervals because if you're going to seed in August or September time frame, you want the product to be completely out of the soil by then. So if you look at this chart up here, it tells you how many pounds of product per acre and it gives you how many months of protection of active ingredient in the soil you're going to have. So if we go with a four month rate, follow this up, you're looking at 0.75 pounds of prodiamine per acre. Now, most of us don't have acres that we're measuring by, and we're not measuring by pounds because that's a little bit too big for us. So if we look down here, and the reason I do four month is because at 0.75, if we can do 1.5 pounds per year maximum, that means I can do two split applications per year, once in the spring and once maybe mid-summer or late fall if I want to for my fall pre-emergent application. That's how I get that number and I just split it up like that right in half. So if we look at ounces of product per 1,000, there's a range here, so 0 0.185 to 0 0.55 is the amount of product that you can put down per 1,000, and that's the maximum application rate per year. So let's say I have a 10,000 square foot yard, which I roughly do, a little over that, 11,000. 1.5 pounds per year at 0.75 pounds, divide that by two, you get two applications. If we take 43,560 square feet, or rounded, 43,000 square feet, that's how many square feet are in an acre. We divide that by 43, so we'll take 1.5 divided by 43, we get 0.275, so that's our max application rate. So if we look at page 14 of this guide, they have Conveniently, how many pounds per acre, and then the column next to it shows ounces per thousand square feet. So this is 0.55 ounces per square feet, per thousand square feet. So if I want to take that in half, that gets me 0.275. The equivalent is 1.5 tablespoons per thousand. That's at the 1.5. So we, if we just take 1.5 tablespoons and cut it in half, we're looking at three quarters of a tablespoon of pro prodiamine per 1,000 square feet. So that's really how we get the math. You just take however many square feet you have, and you look at this guide here, it tells you how many tablespoons you take. So I've got a little scoop. I've got it marked out at three quarter tablespoons. I just take a scoop and I do 10 of those to get 10,000 square feet. So if we want our total application for the entire yard, 
what we're going to do is we're going to take, let's do 0.75 tablespoons, multiply by 10 to get 10,000 square feet, because remember 0.75 is 3 quarters tablespoon. Let's do this on the calculator. So 0.75 times 10, you're going to need 7.5 tablespoons for your full application. And keep in mind that my sprayer is calibrated for one gallon per thousand square feet. So we need how many gallons of water? 10 gallons. And since my tank can only hold four gallons at a time, we're going to do some math for that. So if we do 7.5 divided by 10, obviously we'll get back to 0.75, but since we're doing it in four gallon increments, we're going to take that number, 0.75 times 4. We're going to put in 3 tablespoons per tank of mix. That's how I got to that number. Now hopefully I didn't lose you at this point. I know it's getting a little bit crazy. Hopefully you can follow that. You might have to rewind and go back, but if you want to make this easy for you and you have a northern cool season lawn, you can do three quarters of a tablespoon of prodiamine. That's the 65 wettable granule stuff from Quali Pro. Three quarters of a tablespoon per 1,000 square feet. So you just take that number, multiply it by how many thousand square feet your yard is, and you've got your application rate. So let's do this again. At three quarter tablespoons, let's say you have a 5,000 square foot lawn. We'll do 0.75 tablespoons times five. Since we're doing 5,000, Five or 1,000 five times, so it's 0.75 times five. Make sure I got that right. 0.75 times five is 3.75. Right, okay. That messed me up because that's three tablespoons per four gallons. So my 10,000 square feet needs seven and a half tablespoons of prodiamine total. Your 5,000 square foot lawn is going to need 7.5 tablespoons. No, wait. I messed up again. 7.5 times 10 is 7.5 tablespoons. Okay. 0.75 times 5. 3.75. Goodness me. Always check your work, right? I'm doing this live without cutting, so without cutting the video. 3.75 tablespoons for 5,000 square feet. There you go. Now without getting too much more into this, I do want to show you my lawn journal. I did keep notes from last year on everything that I did, so I've got you know application rates for my sprayer, I've got calibration, I've got how much Morganite I put down on the lawn. I also have my tenacity application, so because I did the math last year, I can go back and reference this for how much I need to use. You can apply tenacity at five to eight ounces per acre. That's what it says on the label here. Depending on what you want to target, if you're just doing a spot spray, they say, I think it's three, ounces per acre or something. I forget what it is exactly, but don't mark my words on that. I'll look on it later, but look at the label. I know that there's a range that you can apply it at, five to eight ounces. I picked six ounces per acre, which is right in the middle, I guess. 
that's divide that by 43 for 43,000 square feet, you get 0.14 ounces per thousand square feet. So you could do 0.67 teaspoons. So there is a, if you look up the PDF of the same thing for tenacity, it'll tell you how many teaspoons are the equivalent in ounces. So I did that. It's basically a little over a half teaspoon per thousand square feet. So that was a real easy measurement. I took a teaspoon and I just, like a little uh, cough syrup measuring cup, and I took that. And then I added 1.5 teaspoons of surfactant per gallon. So because I kept this record, I did all the math last year, I can regurgitate to this you to the to you in a short amount of time. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Here's my pre-emerging pre-emergent seeding rate. So that was the seeding rate is actually a little bit lower than the post-emergent application rate. I did 0.67 teaspoons per thousand. The pre-emergent seeding rate is 0.5 teaspoons per thousand. So that is no surfactant used, just straight up tenacity, half a teaspoon per thousand square feet. There you go, I just did the math for you. Sorry if that got a little long-winded. Hopefully this makes sense. If you guys like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.